There it is. There's the book not to buy. Do not buy Periodic Tales, a cultural history of the elements from arsenic to zinc. It looked like it was going to be good. There it is. I like learning. It's fascinating. I thought it's not going to be all chemistry. I don't want to learn all about chemistry. Uh, started reading it, reading it, reading it, and all it is is chemistry. What I mean, it's about the periodic table. And it's supposed to be all about how each element got discovered. Not so much what each element is, what each element, you know, it's all its properties, its protons, number of protons, and all this and that, or where it's at on the periodic table, its makeup, any of that. Uh, it's going to describe a little bit more about where in the world, in what country, the geography, how it came about, was it discovered by accident, what, is, what did somebody research find it? And how in the world did it get organized? Anyway, I like learning. And I thought this would be good. So don't get it. Paid, oh gosh, $15. $15 for it. And I got it back in March. It's, you're not going to... Uh, you go from reading it to skimming it. The next thing you know, you're just flipping the pages till finally the last thing is you're just looking at the table of contents seeing is there anything, anything going to be of interest. So I just came from the gym, stopped by the cafe. I was going to try and read it, give it another shot, but no, I'm going to put it on the shelf. Anyway, so do not, for any entertainment value, unless you're the chemistry teacher, all right, do not buy periodic tales. There it is. You've been warned.